In older versions of Dentrix, medical alerts were stored in a more simple box called medical alerts. It's now been replaced in 7.2 and higher with a module called health history. In this health history module, you can get very specific with each condition, allergy, and medication for patients, as well as which ones are critical and which ones should have a pop-up. If you look at the cross, the medical cross for any patient, it's gonna be able to be different colors in the new versions based on critical level. A white cross indicates there are no medical alerts for this patient. A yellow cross indicates that there are medical alerts that are not critical in nature. And a red cross will indicate that there are conditions for this patient that are critical in nature. Let's use our sample patient, Mickey Mouse. When you're opening the health history module for a patient, it's important to note that there are some settings that need to be adjusted the very first time after you convert to 7.2. Let's go there now. In the upper right-hand corner, the setup wheel of the health history module will allow you to bring up several different tabs that can be customized. The first one is the general settings. The column on the left allows you to decide per workstation where you want your medical alert pop-ups to occur. These can be different for clinical versus administrative computers. Then on the medical conditions tab, everything previously that was listed as an allergy comes over in your medical conditions and will need to be moved to an allergies tab. I've already done this in my sample. To move something from one tab to another, all you have to do is highlight them and then click move. So if they start out originally over here, you're gonna highlight all of them and click move to allergies. Now you'll see on each condition, there's a column for pop-up, critical, and show on questionnaires. So all of them default with a pop-up and are critical by default. To change this, click on the condition and hit edit. You can uncheck anything that doesn't apply for that condition. It will ask you if you wanna update it for any patients that are attached to it. This will need to be done for each condition allergy, and medication. Allergies are now separated from medical conditions. This makes it easy to see on your screen from information perspective, as well as if you're using questionnaires, it divides it for your patients. The last tab is medications. To add a medication, simply click on the upper right-hand corner and click add. Type in the description of the medication and whether it's critical or not, and if you wanna pop up. I recommend at this point not putting any dosages in because you can do that later on a per patient basis. Medical conditions used to be limited in older versions of Dentrix, they are now unlimited. So you do have the ability to add a condition that is unique to the patient you're seeing at that time and not worry about it taking up one of your valuable spots. Next, we'll talk about using the health history module for each patient.